how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from scatguitarlessonline.com. Really good to see you all again. Thanks for tuning in. At this time, we are going to be looking at Revelations from the 1983 album Peace of Mind. Uh, this was request. This was requested by one of my subscribers on YouTube. I uh, hope you enjoy the lesson. If you are a first-time visitor to the channel uh, and uh, you are an Iron Maiden fan, then really this is the channel you want to be tuning into. Lots of Iron Maiden songs covered here. All you got to do, click on that subscribe button, click on the bell, and then you're notified every time I'm posting one of my new lessons. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to get into the lesson and I'm going to show you how to play Revelations so you know the score. Don't go away. Preview. So let's have a look at that opening riff, uh, which starts off with a three on the low E string, going to an A5 power chord, which is just open string on the A, and then I'm holding down two and two on the D and the G. So we get this. Then we go to a C chord, and you're gonna play the C chord, then you've got a two on the G, pull off to an open string, and then back to the C. Just turn down the uh, drive a little bit on that, and then you can just hear what I'm doing. So it's C, two on the G, pull off, back to the C chord. And then you've got a C, followed by a quick move. Played that four times. On the last time, you just hang on that D chord. Watch the remainder of the bar, and then we get into the next part of the main uh, of that intro riff, which also then takes us into the verse. So again, I'll just play this through. So. just keeps on running around so we play that twice before Bruce Dickens starts singing and then it goes into the main verse for the uh, the, the main verse <laughs> so what we're doing there I'm just playing an A5 twice so again that's just open 2-2 two, two, D and G then I go to an, an F chord uh, but I'm only playing it as a five chord so I'm just playing one on the low E and then three on the A and the D string. I do reinforce it with that second finger, just to give it a bit more power. Got two of them. Move up to the G, same chord shape, just moving up two frets, so it's three, five, five, four. And then we go back to this A chord. Now we're getting down, down, up, down. Or you can play it just down stroke, so down, down, up, down. on the uh, low E string. So whether you want to play it as a down up or you just want to play down strokes, doesn't make any difference, but you've got to get that down. Then it goes back, F, G. So we just keep playing that through the verses. Right, let's have a look at the section coming out of the verse. We 
start off on the B string and we're doing 10 on the B to 8 on the B back to 10. Then we do 10, 8 on the B to 10 on the G. Back to 8 on the B. Back to 10 on the G and then 9 on the G. 12 on the D. 10 on the D and then 9. So we go. That's your first riff. Let me just play that through nice and slowly. Okay, now we've got this little run here where we're going to play uh, what we're doing is a 10. Then we do an 8, 10, 8. Cross over to the G and we do a 10 to 9. And then we do a 10, 9 again. Back to that 10 again on that. And we start the line all over again. So we get... the start of what we just played so when we came in that that is the back end of that of going okay. you can hear that loop coming round we do that twice now the next time, when we play this line of we got that 6-7, we go up to 13 on the B. And we do 13, 12, 13. So when we come out of we do a 13, 12, 13. Then it's 13, 12, 10. Then we cross to the G and we do a 12 to 13 on the B. Back to 12 on the G, to 10, to 9, finishing on 12D. So that would be... Then we back to the... Now on this last one we go... Now we play that last one, we've got to go back down here. And it's just an A power chord where I'm playing two, two and two, D, G and B. Open string, back on. So that's a quite quick movement. And that then takes us to the break section. Let me just play the break and what I'll do, I'll take you from that last line where, from the melodic line previously. So we get... Okay, so we are just playing, so once we come back from that from the melodic line, we're then going to do the A and then back to the 3 on the low E, back to the A. Now the first time round, because we've come from that melodic line, we've already played the first one, so we just do one of these. Then we go to a G5 power chord, so it's 3, 5, 5. Cross over to the A string and we're doing a 5, 7, 7. Down to the F. So that's one, three, three, up to the G. And then we playing that. So let me just do that slow. So that is the break section. Now the next part very, very similar in its approach. So again, what I'm going to do is just play it and then I'll break it down for you. What 
we got there, we claim. So you're going one and two and three two and three. And then we are going to G5 twice, D5 twice. Then we've got this uh, F, we go up to the G. And then we start all over again. And that loops round. So that is the interlude second part of the break. Now, let's move on to the next section. Now, we're going to go into the clean acoustic section, but before that, there are two bars that take us into that. So we've been playing that full rhythm, that. <laughs> playing that. Now, when we come out of that last one, we're going to be playing this. So what we're doing there, we're just playing the G5, G2, 3, 4, G2, 3, so it's G, D, F, back to G. And then we are into the acoustic section, which we're going to look at now. So I'll just play you through the acoustic section and then of course I'll show you how to play it. That loops continually, so let's just go through them chords. Uh, you start off seeing it as an A minor, so we've got a two, and we're going to be playing open A, then we play two on the D, we cross over to the B string, we play one on the B string, and then two on the G. So it's two down, and then two reverse for the B. So A, D string, B, G string over an A minor. Now the next chord, you could see it as an F chord, but we're only playing three and three on the D, three A and three D. And then we play one, two on the G. So I just hold it down, it's like an F sharp with a, my kind of third finger here. So I'm just playing three, three, one, two, coming down A, D, B. Then we go to a C chord, same picking pattern over a C chord. So it's three, two, three on the A, two on the D, and then one on the B, and open G string. Then I move my second finger up, so I'm playing two on the A string, and it's uh, A2, open D, and then one on the B, open G. We do that twice. So A minor, C and then we've got this uh, you're going to see that it's going to be an E with uh, it's an E minor so first part moving across the F shape C and we got this E minor with this C added and that just keeps on repeating and repeating that is all of the acoustic sanction yes it does get played later as well exactly the same so it's just them four chords being cycled round and round and round coming out of the acoustic sanction we have this riff that's played uh, there's a fun one this one So, what we're doing there, we're playing over an A power chord. Go into that three on that low E string, then we repeat. Go into a C power chord, which is three and five on the A and the D. So, so far. Now, quick, quick change here. We go a five, five, and then down to three. So it's five, 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 three. Five, three. Then we go down to the F, G, 
And of course, it just keeps on looping round. Then it goes back to the acoustic section and then it comes back out into that riff again. So once we've done that part, let's look at what the next section is. The next part will be the two solos, which we will look at in a future lesson. But when we come out above solos, we now hit this riff. So again, I'm just gonna play through and then break it down for you. <laughs> fun riff this one we're doing five seven on the a string and then we do seven five on the d string and then we do seven five on the a so then we move down to the three on the a five seven five three and then open Your first one. Next part is we're going to do one on the uh, the low E string to three, and then we cross over and do three two, and then back to three on the low E and to one, and then we start first fret to third fret on the low E, and then we cross over to three on the A, and then open string and hold. Back to and that keeps on cycling round and round and round. Okay, let's move on. All right, for the final verse, uh, we got a very, very similar riff to what we played before. There's just one slight alteration in it, so I'm just going to play it for you. similar to what we've done before we're just not playing as much in this one we've got this a going down to that third fret on the low e string and then we just go back and play two a's then to an f to a g and then it's back and that keeps on repeating round and from that point on, we then go back to the acoustic section. This place through the acoustic section, which takes us to the end of the song. Now we have covered all of the sections. Uh, not in the order, of course, but uh, if you follow the song, and I will include the tab sheet with this one, just so you can keep up with the different positions. But every single riff, has been included in the lesson, so you're fully equipped to play the entire sections of Revelations. Well, I do hope you found the lesson interesting and fun. It's a wonderful song, as per usual, with Iron Maiden. Um, if you've got any questions about what I've covered in these Iron Maiden songs, or you've got any others, and I love seeing all these great suggestions, because I, I am working through them. I promise I will get there. Uh, there's been so many great ideas for some real cool songs by Maiden. If there is any other songs, don't have to be Iron Maiden, just drop me a line. Uh, it's nice to do something different. So just uh, keep them comments coming. And any new subscribers, if you've got any input, let me know. Well, I'm gonna let you go for now. Uh, it's been great having your company. And uh, let's see what uh, the next lesson brings up for us. But until then, this is Jeff Sinker from SkyGuitarLessonsOnline.com wishing you well. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, goodbye.